May 29th, the seventh day of the week, not a work day, but it's the Lord's Sabbath, the day he told us to rest and to congregate to other like believers. You can do that if you wish, he leaves that up to you. Well, brother, let's get right over into the Lord's Care Ministry, our daily walk with Jesus, day 100. And 46 of the year 2010. Harold kills John the Baptist. Well, brother, you can use the. First of all, I suggest that you write down the chapter and verse and study the whole chap, the whole chapter and verse at your own leisure. Get the best benefit out of it. You can use the pause button here in the corner to start and stop this lecture at your own need. Well, brethren, with that, we'll get right on over into Harold Kills John the Baptist, and we'll start in Mark chapter 6, verses 17 through 29. Also, we find it in Matthew chapter 14, verses 3 through 12. For Harold had sent his soldiers to arrest and imprison John because he kept saying it was wrong for the king to marry Herodias, his brother Philip's wife. Herodias wanted John killed in revenge, but without Harold's approval, she was powerless, and Harold respected John knowing that he was a good and holy man and so it kept him under his protection. Harold was disturbed whenever he talked to John, but even so, he liked to listen to him. Herodotus' chance finally came. It was Harold's birthday, and he gave a stag party for his palisades, army officers, and the leading citizens of Galilee. You find out you do your study that Christ did about his own ministry in Galilee. That's another story. Then Herodias' daughter came in and danced before them and greatly pleased them all. Ask me for anything you like, the king vowed, and even half my kingdom, I will give it to you. She went out and consulted her mother who told her, as for John the Baptist's head. So she hurried back to the king and told him, I want head the, of John the Baptist right now on a tray. Then the king was sorry, but he was embarrassed to break his oath in front of his guests. So he sent one of his bodyguards to the prison to cut off John's head and bring it to him. The soldier killed John in the prison and brought back his head on a tray and gave it to the girl and she took it to her mother. When John's disciples heard what had happened, they came for his body and buried it in a tomb. Philip, Harold's half-brother, was another of Palestine's four rulers. His territories were in Atera and Trachoditis, northwest of the Sea of Galilee, Luke chapter 3 and verse 1. Pardon me for my mispronunciations. Philip's wife, wife, Herodias, left Philip to live with Herod Antipas. John the Baptist condemned Herod and Herodias for living immorally, determined to do what is right. As a ruler under Roman authority, Herod had no kingdom to give. The offer of half his kingdom was Harold's way to say that he would get Herodias, Herodias' daughter almost anything she wanted. When Herodias asked for John's head, Harold would have been greatly embarrassed in front of his guests if he had denied her request. Words are powerful because they can lead us to great sin. We should use them with great care. How easy it is to give in to the crowd and to let ourselves be pressured into doing wrong. Do not get into a situation 
where it will be too embarrassing to do what is right. Determine to do what is right, no matter how embarrassing or painful it may be. Our need for daily prayer. Lift me up by your strong arms, above the mist and darkness of the valley, to stand and walk with you on the high level of your presence and glory. I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he hath dwelt bountifully with me. Your daily walk on that narrow path will bring you eternal life with the Father and His Son. Boundless Salvation Isaiah 63 and verse 1 reads, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. Beware the tradition of men that make void the word of God. It's like the tradition of men says that we're Judo-Christian. No way, no how, Christ did not learn anything at the temple. He taught at the temple, but he did not learn anything at the temple. If you will study your scripture, you will find that Christ did most of his work in Galilee even only to the temple, maybe once, twice a year for the Passover feast, and maybe for another feast. But he did not do all of his mir miracles there as he was taught by tradition. Brethren, if you want to follow Christ on his narrow path, Get down on your knees and repent for following the tradition of men and not studying your Bible. Find all this stuff out for yourself. And while you're on your knees, ask for the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of the word that God sent to you, and that is found in your own Bible. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. Wonderful Sabbath. I know I will. God willing. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.